Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, August 18th, the feast day of St. Helen. And she is the mother of St. Constantine the Great, and she is also given credit for discovering the true cross of Jesus in the early 300s. Today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 19, verses 23 through 30. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you will have, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the continuation of yesterday's gospel of the rich young man. Um, straight up continuation. Um, where we talked about the rich young man not wanting to be a minimalist and uh, seeking worldly comfort and just doing everything that he can to to please Jesus and follow his commandments. Um, so we're talking about, of course, wealth, um, which I always used to think wealth is like a very, very, very negative thing. Um, but even but even in the Old Testament. It was oftentimes stated, stated that wealth and material goods are a sign of God's favor. However, in the New Testament, because that's still partly true, um, it's just a matter of if we let it transform our hearts into bad. Um, because here comes Jesus in the New Testament, and he rejects that notion because it generates a sense of false, false security. Wealth does. Um, where we think that we're in control, and we think that we we are the ones that are have all the power to accumulate all this wealth, um, where and instead of thanking and thanking God for the talents that He's blessed us with, and thanking us for the work ethic that we have and everything else, because everything can be taken away from us um, at any point in time. Um, so and, and you know so anyway, um, even in Scripture. Jesus says it is hard for a person to enter heaven, a rich person to enter heaven, but he doesn't say that it's impossible. Um, and, and the footnote says that riches are an obstacle to entering the kingdom of heaven that cannot be overcome by human powers because Jesus understands our human weakness and our human desires. And he understands that we can only eliminate that temptation of, of just money, 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 and wealth, and power, and prestige. Um, we can only eliminate that from that temptation within ourselves if we keep our eyes focused on Him through prayer, through our good deeds, and through all of our actions and our words and how we treat other people and just how we live a life for God. Um, and then, of course, He will, you know, He will bless us ab abundantly. But, um, not, it's, it's not this whole prosperity gospel. It, it drives me nuts whenever I, I see some of these prosperity evangelical Christians that think that God is going to bless you abundantly and all these false false churches that preach simply on you know money, 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 and God's going to bless you with money, 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 money. But that's not the case. Um, it's ridiculous. So anyway, um, as I get off my soapbox here, the, the challenge, because um, even Peter is concerned uh, you know, well, what's going to be there for us if we don't get any of this this earthly wealth and all this other stuff? And Jesus says, "What your your reward will be much greater than any sort of wealth you can ever get on earth." Um, so anyway, the, the the challenge here today is to re is have a personal reflection on money. Um, how do you view money, uh, stuff, material goods, accumulating more, whatever land? I don't know what it is, but 
How much does money and wealth motivate you? And if it does, because it's not always bad, but what is your purpose of why money motivates you? Um, that might be the deeper reason or deeper question. Um, and we'll end it with a, a note from uh, the billboard at St. Paul's Place here in Willowdale, just down the road, um, where it says, some people are so poor that all they have is money. Have a great Tuesday. God bless and keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.